Welcome back to Fish Catcher Outdoors. This is Ionic Batteries, part two. So I've had the batteries about a week, been out twice, made a trip out to Big Creek. I was out there for about four hours. You know, I started out 79% uh, on the battery and I was down to 72% by the time I went home. Huge improvement. And that same amount of time running my depth finders, running my interior lights. I was out till after dark. I caught a big walleye, a really big walleye, which I'll flash up here as well. I would have been sitting on dead batteries by then because the problem I have is I'm fishing in Iowa. A lot of the lakes I'm fishing are no wake lakes. Doesn't give you a chance to really charge up with much with your big motors alternator. And so I'm running on battery power a lot. So even though I'm tooling around, you know, I'm running on battery power a lot. One of the things I've learned, I'm running a 150 horsepower Mercury. It has the big tiller kit. It has basically a valve in the handle that runs this hydraulic rod back and forth. It has an internal to the boat hydraulic pump that's electrically driven. And what I've learned, because I've got the Ionic battery app now that tells me what my power situation is, is that when I'm just idling around, just going straight, if I've got my two, my two uh, Lowrance units on, plus that, I'm drawing at least eight amps. If I turn, that puts a little more pressure, makes the hydraulic uh, pump kick in, it drops to even more, like minus 16 amps. That's at idle. Now, what I've learned is if I rev up to about 1,000 RPM, which, you know, in Iowa, I'm fishing these no-wake lakes, so I'm running on the battery power. If I'm running at about 1,000 RPM, I'm actually putting 15 amps into the battery. And this I've all learned because I've got that uh, Ionic battery app. It's been super handy. So trip one, I started out at 79%. As I said, I was out of Big Creek for four hours. That would have been enough time if I was still running on the old lead acid batteries, I would have had troubles getting the big motor started. I've learned why now, because of that, all the draw that I've got on that house battery and starting battery. And before I had those two tied together, before I went to the single ionic lithium that I'm running right now. So I ran that first trip, started at 79%, ended up at 72%. Next day, I went down to th Three Mile Lake, fished all afternoon, started about 1 o'clock and fished till about 8.30 at night. I would have been for sure with the old battery systems. If I wasn't making some runs, I would have for sure been uh, having issues starting the big motor again. In that case, I started at 80%. I think I ended the day at 72% again. So the thing I learned though is I, as, as I was running that app is when I'm tooling around, I just make sure that I'm not going at idle because then I'm drawing out. If I keep the motor at about 1,000 RPM, which is about five mile an hour, which is about what I need to be doing on these no wake lakes anyways, then I'm putting 15 amps in the battery. And so I fished that whole time period. And once again, I got down to you know, only 8% out of the battery. So I think I'm gonna be in great shape, honestly. So far, the things I've learned, starting is a breeze. It, it acts like it has more power when I'm starting. Motor turns over faster, fires right up. <clears throat> Running the electronics. Electronics are staying above 12 volts. In the past, I would be down, and according to my Lowrance units, I'd be down in the 10.8 or so um, at the units. So the units are actually working better too. Uh, I don't get the where it flashes to a black screen as I'm trying to start the motor. They stay lit up the whole time. I don't have any troubles with them rebooting or any of that stuff. So I know the voltage is staying up. So that's a really good situation to be in. A couple other questions I've had about the Ionic battery so far. How are you charging it? I'm just using a regular Schumacher uh, charger set on AGMs working fine to charge up the batteries. I haven't charged them up to 100% and basically so far what I'm learning is I don't know if I'm even going to have to charge them. Battery holds a charge better. Uh, the internal resistance of these uh, lithium batteries compared to a lead acid, it takes a charger from the alternator better. You know if I'm tooling around mid throttle, this has a 60 amp alternator on it. I'm seeing uh, 35 amps, 30, 30 plus amps. Um, and so I'll show you some screenshots from that from my phone off that Ionic battery app as well. Um, so, so far that's all I've had to do. And, and I, I, as I'm learning more about it, I doubt I'll have to charge ever with a charger.
So the other thing I've been learning is I'm going to be using this Pro Kicker a lot more. So when I'm just tooling around, um, those Lowrance HDS units, they're pulling a little over four amps, about four and a half. This has a six amp alternator on it. And so if I'm just tooling around on these no wake lakes, just running this, I'm putting an amp and a half charging back into that battery too. And so if I'm just tooling around going slow, no sense running the big motor. In, with the big motor and that hydraulic pump combination, I'm taking power out of those batteries unless I rev it up. Just running the kicker motor, it's gonna be just fine. It's continually putting a little charge on those batteries so and enough of a charge that's even overcoming the two units that I'm running. So learning a lot by running this setup I got now. Definitely think I'm gonna be in great shape. So far, super happy with the Ionic battery. I think it was the right move. You know, I had my doubts, especially going to a single battery, that that was going to be a good idea, but so far so good. I think I'm going to really like it. I'll continue to give updates, so please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, as I learn more, I'll be sharing it in this series. So thanks again. Thanks for watching.